a dilated line is using the slope of the image line, okay? Question 7 reads, the line negative 3x plus 4y equals 8 is transformed by a dilation centered at the origin. Which linear equation could represent its image? So we have four options here. All right, so to help us solve this problem, we need to know what the relationship is between um, a line and the line after it's been dilated, okay? The image line and then the object line upon dilation. Now, um, let's go ahead and write down what the connection is, something you want to keep in mind. Um, you want to know that the slope of a line is um, preserved, basically is unchanged under dilation centered at the origin. Okay, so the original line and the image after dilation, they still have exactly the same slope. So what we want to do in this problem is we want to find the slope of this original line and then see which of these lines has a slope that matches that and that will be the correct answer for us, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and find, let's identify what we're about to do. We're going to find the slope of negative 3x plus 4y equals 8. Let's find the slope of this line, okay? All right, there are two ways we can find the slope of this line. We can use either the standard form to find the slope or we can use the slope intercept form. We're going to be going over both methods in this presentation. So let's take a look at the first method. Method one involves finding the slope using the standard form, standard form, okay? So how do you find the slope of a line using the standard form? Well, you need to know what the formula is, right? So the formula is as follows. Uh, what is the slope? For a standard line, a line in standard form, the slope m is equal to negative a over b, okay, where we have the form ax plus by equals c. The nice thing about this formula is that it is much faster than the other method. That's why we're doing this one first, okay? All we just have to do is identify a and b, find the negative um, quotient of a and b, and that is the slope. Alrighty, so in this particular function that we're dealing with, we can clearly see that a is the coefficient of x which is negative 3, and b is the coefficient of y, which is 4. So the slope, you got to be careful here because one of the values is negative, all right, is minus, a is negative 3, so use that parenthesis to avoid making mistakes, minus negative 3 over b, which is 4, okay? And then when we simplify this, minus times minus, you slash and dash, you get the slope of 3 fourths. Alright, so let's use the second method to find the slope. If you don't like this method that we just used, we're going to use the second method, method 2, which is the slope-intercept form. So, how do you find the slope of a line if it is in slope-intercept form? Well, the formula is as follows. Um, the slope is just m, where you have the form y equals mx plus b. So if you can get it, if you can get the line into slope-intercept form, it's easy to easily determine the slope and the intercept. That is why it's called the slope-intercept form. Okay. In this particular problem, we are given the standard form, so we have to do some work here to transform it into the slope intercept form so that we can find the um, 
slope okay so we have standard form we're gonna do a transformation right here okay so what are we doing we want to get y by itself we can accomplish this in two steps we're gonna subtract 3x add 3x to both sides and get rid of 4 okay all right so let's do it you gotta do some algebra here add 3x to both sides and what does that give us if you add 3x to both sides you're going to have 4y is equal to 3x plus 8 and then the last step you divide every single term by 4 divide by 4 4 4 and that will give us our slope intercept form all right so our slope intercept form is going to be y equals 3 over 4 x plus 8 over 4 is 2 so um, as we can see here the coefficient of x is your m all right so m which is your slope is 3 fourths and we can see that our both our slope values are both the same so whichever method you prefer all right so the slope is 4 3 over 4 3 fourths so um, the line that could represent the transformation of the original line um, by dilation centered at the origin is the line that has a slope of 3 fourths so what are we going to do next well we have to find the slope of each of these lines okay so for the first one is all, all already in slope intercept form so all we're looking at is the coefficient of m of x the coefficient of x is a slope okay so this is m right here this is m this is m and this is m let's write it out so for the first line m is four thirds for the second line m is three fourths for the third line m is the slope negative three over four and then for the last line m is negative four thirds so which one is the correct one ladies and gentlemen the correct answer is option number two because it has exactly the same slope as the original line negative 3x plus 4y equals 8 okay so that's how you um, determine that's how you identify dilated lines using the slope of the original line now we would like to know what you think now take a look at these two methods that we used to find the slope of the line the standard form approach and the slope intercept of uh, slope intercept form approach which method do you prefer and why let us know is extremely valuable to us we'll also like to know what you think about this tutorial um, or if you have any questions or comments just put it in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to respond do not forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to the remainder of this review series. More support resources can be found at madgotserve.com. Do check it out. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.